Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, and I am very happy uh, to have from out of the blue and chasing coral. I've got some great folks here in our studio, uh, the Reef Life. Uh, and first of all, we've got uh, Sophie, who's right here next to me, and uh, next to her, uh, Melody Brenna as well. And I'm sorry, uh, I didn't Lynn catch. Baum. Lynn, thank you so much for being here, the three of you. I, this is such an important topic. We've had the pleasure of having uh, you in studio to talk mm -hmm. about a little bit before, but now mm -hmm. uh, when we start talking about it in the way of film and, and getting people to see this yeah. and understanding what's going on, let's uh, set that up for folks. To, uh, the, the, there's a lot of dead coral out there. Yeah. That's the, the, the frank part of this conversation. It is. So tell us about that. Coral is, is an interesting structure underneath the water, and because 71% of the planet is covered in water, that coral is the lifeblood of how you and I breathe oxygen today. And the world is fed by coral, and the fish that grow on top of coral go ahead and grow and then feed us later. So if the coral continues to die, our children and our great-grandchildren won't have any fish. So the nanotechnology behind our science, we've started 10 years ago, and this piece of what we call a cast coral has every vitamin and mineral that coral needs to grow, as well as fish habitats and aquaculture. So start, starting to feed it as well as taking yes. care of it, essentially. Yes. Uh, why, uh, why now? Why, uh, you know, what took us so long to finally decide mm -hmm. to do something about this in, wow. in general? That's a beautiful question, and it's people like Sophie Ancel, who did her movie Out of the Blue. She was also a camera person in Chasing Corals. It's those types of people who bring this to all of us, bring that uh, imminent demise to us right here. Otherwise, here we are in the middle of the United States. We're not diving in coral every day. Yeah. You know, we, uh, we, we have a small dive place here that obviously does not. It's, uh, it's, it's a cavern. Um, but once you get down into it and realize uh, the endlessness of it, the bottomless of it, yeah. it reminds you of the, of the sea and, and the, the problems that we see there, too. Yeah. Um, and when I've been to the bottom of so many places uh, in Belize, in Dominican Republic, I'm disappointed that it doesn't look a lot different than it did on the way down. It's just gray and yeah. sad. I don't know how else to describe that. Yeah, I think um, uh, I was part of the Chasing Coral team uh, for the last three years and um, the idea was to have a, a team of adventurer who wants to reveal what is the coral, uh, what is the health of the ocean. And during that time, uh, last year was the biggest um, coral bleaching that happened and the Great Barrier Reef has lost like almost 22% of all these corals, which is uh, huge. And um, that is, I think, what uh, Chasing Coral wants to reveal right now, that it's, it's still time to do something, and we would like to do something. And um, if I may ha say also, the film Out of the Blue, uh, which is uh, premiering today at the Oculus House, it's um, a virtual reality um, film that actually um, we went to this Mexican little community uh, in, uh, in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, they were former fishermen and they, they saw by themselves because every day they were fishing and over uh, many years they see the, the ocean is changing. So they decided either we leave our, our future children um, a, an ocean f without fish or we do something about it so they decide to sacrifice their job and they decided that to wow. to campaign for no, uh, no fishing in that area so and now um, the place that we have we are filming and that we are showing in out of the blue is is one of the most uh, it's, it's a hope spot as Sylvia Earle um, states it it's uh, one of those places that still uh, carries hope for the planet and that we need to protect and promote so. It's nice to be able to see the good side, for sure, of this, yeah. the, the future, the hope that we have mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. for restoring things. It, it, we've tried lots of different things, haven't we? We've, I remember they sink ships sometimes with the hope that mm -hmm. that will work. They've, there's been so many other tries at, at, at doing this, mm -hmm. uh, but the feeding part is the, the yeah. missing element. Would it, that be, would that be an accurate statement? It's the science, statement? really. It's the nanomaterial science that's really what makes this different and the ability to make it custom per Fiji 
reefs are different than yeah. uh, Caribbean reefs. And if you can make it that exact pH that it needs to be, that can help that little area, that little hope spot, have the right pH so that it can help with the acidification. I like the word hope spot. Yes. That's, that's a nice... Uh, a nice way of putting it. Yeah. With Oculus, uh, certainly gives people a, a chance to feel like they're there, which is the hope, right? Um, Getting them to, to, to see it uh, from the perspective that you did. Um, yes, the idea was um, really we wanted to, uh, in the heart of the blue, that film, um, we want to show how a woman uh, gives her legacy to a, ch a child, her whole her story on the story of um, the former fisherman um, is now the legacy of the, chi of the children. And they have sacrificed their jobs there and they, have, they are giving that hope spot uh, to the child. And now it's a, the child, the future right. generation to, to continue to campaign for, to keep having uh, these uh, this, this hopes of uh, hope spot and enlarge them. And um, yeah, I wanted to say also that in Chasing Coral film, there is a bunch of uh, scientists who are um, trying to say that there is a solution. It's mainly, and we are part of it, and it's really to keep uh, our emissions much decrease. And we have time to give a chance for the corals around right. the planet. And, uh, each of us can yeah, do it. Every one of us can do a part. Yes. We don't have to go to the ocean to do it. Exactly. We'll do it right here, right? Yes. What are some of the things you'd suggest? Uh, I'm going to reach out to the end here. Yes, well, I think as much as anything, as Sophie was saying, you have to do take some of the things out of the atmosphere and some of the things that are going into the ocean to help save the reefs around that. But one of the things that we can do at, at least is bring the nutrition, the things that are going to attract the coral, attract fish to the coral, and actually recreate that reef. It takes all of that. And it it's does. Not, and, um, you, we can't do this with one element. It takes no. everything. Right. Yes. Right. So we've got to have all participants, mm -hmm. including those fish, including those uh, small mollusks, including all of the little, yes. uh, you know, every little tiny, uh, you know, minute dinner uh, piece, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> invertebrates, all kinds yeah. of things that need to be yes. there, right? Uh, those are all part of this. In, in finality, what, I, I, I imagine your obvious, we, your, your big hope here is that those hope spots continue to grow. What can, what can we do in the world of the corporate side, the bigger side, to make this happen. There's got to be, I think can we do it faster? Can we get people to put some money into this and really make it, make it go? Yeah, I think like to create more marine protected areas will really help. Mm -hmm. um, basically, uh, I would say like the consumption, energy consumption is That's such an important, mm -hmm. uh, important and uh, investing in sustainable energy will probably like, because like coal industry is so large, right. uh, if we can revert and change those kind of uh, investment and, and do something more sustainable for the planet when you know that yes. solar is solar energy is one of those free energy that is uh, that is out there and we we could use it yeah there's enough out there to uh, fuel us forever if we could just start tapping in right mm -hmm. Fi and uh, finally, where can we see, uh, again, is it the Oculus? Yeah, so um, the Out of the Blue will be at the Oculus House. It's okay. premiering today, from, and it will be for open for public from 24 to 27th okay. of uh, January for the moment. And uh, on Chasing Coral it has premiered yesterday, so it will be it has the official selection of, of Sundance, so it will be uh, out there. Uh, there Several is, uh, other yes, times yes. this week. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you ladies so very much for being here and shedding a little bit of light, so to speak, on yeah. uh, a topic that's a, a little dark uh, under the sea. It's so important. Uh, we, we're going to get, we've got to do what we can to save yes. that coral. Once you've seen bleached coral, once you see what yes. it looks like when there's nothing there, yes. Yes. you don't, yeah, you, you want to do whatever you can to change and that. And if people want to learn more about the science, they can go to our website, okay. reefliferestoration.com. Okay. And our foundation will put a reef in in somebody's name. Wow. So if somebody would to like to a donate reef. a reef uh, that would save a little part of the planet, they can go to our website, and it's been on this Park City TV, yep. and then uh, 
put a memorial reef in for someone. Well, thank you so much for joining us again, uh, thank for you. bringing we your friends, it. which uh, we dearly appreciate. Uh, it is such an important topic. You can protect yeah. the reef too. You can do it right here on land just by you know planning circle trips, driving less, take your friends with you, carpool. All those things are so important. Uh, put up some solar panels and uh, use a little less carbon. We can all do our part and we're saving the oceans, which by virtue is saving ourselves. We've got a lot more coming up, more red carpets right after this on Park City Television.